It's simple to disable location services in iOS on your iPhone. Here's how and why you should do it. It's probable that when you initially signed into a new iPhone, you activated location services, and your phone has been tracking you ever since. And while that may be great for the most part, what if you want more control over your location data? Fortunately, it's simple to disable for the entire phone or for certain apps. Why would you deactivate location services? There are a couple of reasons behind this. The most obvious reason is to have more privacy. If you've authorized every app you've installed over the years to track your location, that's a lot of services that are always aware of where you are. It's a good idea to think about the data you provide more carefully and determine whether particular apps or services require it. If not, that access should be revoked. Another compelling factor is battery life. Sharing your position all the time can be a waste on your phone's resources. And if you're staring at a 3% left battery with an hour to get home, any small boost might help. Is it safe to deactivate location services? While turning off location services will not harm your phone in any way, you will be able to limit services and functionality. Location data is used by apps such as Google Maps to show you where you are and track where you've been. Similarly, Uber will be unable to locate you in order to pick you up. Your camera will work, but it will not store location data to your images. Thus you will be unable to view where any shots were taken on the map. It will also disable Apple's Find My Services. So make sure to keep it turned on if you want a partner or friend to be able to check your whereabouts while you're out and about. If you lose your iPhone when location services are disabled and try to track it using iCloud, activating the lost mode will remotely activate location services, assuming your phone has battery and is linked to a wireless connection. How to disable location services. Go to settings then tap privacy on your iPhone. And near the top, you'll see location services. Right near the top is a master switch that will disable all location services on your phone. It's the same as turning off your home's main power switch. Everything goes dark. This is the option to utilize if you want to save battery power or avoid being tracked by anything. However, farther down the page, you'll see a list of all the apps that can use location data. By tapping on each one, you can choose whether or not to provide it access to your location. When you tap on an app's name, You'll be given four options, never. It will be unable to monitor your location in any way. Next time, ask. This allows you to provide permission to use your data only once, but it must ask your permission to use it again in the future. When you're using the app, only when the app is open on your screen will it be able to use your location data. When you close the app, it will no longer be able to track your whereabouts in the background. Always, an app will be able to use your location data both when it is active and when it is not. Which iPhone apps should be able to access my location data? It is entirely up to you whether you want your apps to be able to follow you all of the time, some of the time, or never at all. A chosen approach works best for me, as the app connects with my smart home equipment. I allow apps like Google Home to track my whereabouts all the time. When I leave the house, my security cameras activate and my heating settings adjust automatically. But I only allow applications to track my position while I'm using them for practically everything else including Uber, Instagram, Booking.com, and even my phone's camera. Remember that you can always modify the settings. So don't be concerned if you remove access to an app only to discover later that you require it. Simply go back into your settings and change the permissions. If you stayed until the end please show your appreciation by liking the video. Also leave us a comment down below and subscribe for more tech videos. Have a great day.